All right, decided to come to a different target today. Of course, no new Black Series, but I'm hoping to find a Mission Fleet Starfighter TIE Fighter. There's anything in Starfighter. Looks X Wing. Another X Wing. Yes! All right, I'm taking this baby home. Score. Welcome everybody to Collecting Star Wars. We are back with a new video. Took a few days off as we ended up doing four, no make that five videos, five days in a row where we held our own Star Wars celebration. And one of the videos we did was a toy hunt. And on that toy hunt, I discovered it's hard to find new Black Series, but it's easy to find these mission fleets. So I thought I wanna get one of these and open it up and do a review. So we have here today, Darth Vader and his TIE Advanced. We're gonna check it out. Now, if you enjoy collecting Star Wars like we do, this is a line that is easy to get into. It's affordable and it's um, a large variety of what you can find. You'll find them at almost every Walmart and uh, Target that you go to. Um, it's a toy line that covers the prequel area, area, the prequel era. It covers the original trilogy. It covers Clone Wars, it covers Mandalorian. Pretty much everything right now except for the sequel era unfortunately maybe they'll come out with that next but a broad and wide variety of stuff you can get and you can get figures and you can get vehicles which in the six inch line they just don't make a lot of vehicles and in the three and three quarter line they're really not making them much anymore so the mission fleet is the way to go right now to collect star wars so here we go i picked up what looked the best to me darth vader and his tie advanced comes with a gun they, they tend to all come with these guns that you can remove um, attached to the vehicles as well as a standalone cannon that you can set up and um, I think it just looks pretty cool it almost reminds me of a uh, of mask the size um, comparison this 2.6 inch um, 4.1 centimeter 1.6 inch kind of range here that they have um, Reminds me of masks, so I never collected masks when I was a kid. I was spoiled. I had just about everything from Star Wars to Transformers to He-Man to G.I. Joe. Didn't get masks, so this will be kind of a cool way to get um, a feel for what that was like and with the Star Wars branding on it. So let's go ahead and open this guy up and see what we have here. All right, here we have Star Wars Mission Fleet tie advanced with Darth Vader. My very first impression is that Okay, it's small. I knew it was smaller. I didn't expect it to be this small. That's not a bad thing. It's just that my perspective coming from a classic collector who grew up on three and three quarter, it's smaller than that. Of course I knew that, but it just, again, by comparison, it feels small. And now I'm getting into the Black Series, so by comparison to that, it feels even smaller. But again, that's not a bad thing. It's just um, something that I'm just getting used to at the moment as, as I give it a look over. Having said that, it is cool. I like it. Um, one of the first things that popped into my mind, if it's small, I can get more and fit more on a shelf. Hey, that's not so bad because shelf space can be a premium. So that's a good thing. Um, looking at, let's start with the man himself. Here is Darth Vader. He is a cool, cool sculpt. I mean, look at that take on his menacing helmet, the skull look. It's modern, it's cool. I like the, the design of it. I like the red eyes. It's very classic, very reminiscent of the original trilogy when he's flying his TIE Advanced in the Death Star run and you can see his red eyes peeking through the helmet. Um, so that is cool. He has sort of a standard five points of artic articulation. His arms move and his legs kick out. Um, but his head does a little bit more than just side to side. It's kind of a ball joint. It's gonna go up, it's gonna go down, it's gonna go side to side and all around. So that is cool. 
the amount of movement. Oh, sorry, this just doesn't want to focus. The amount of movement you can get out of this character, out of this figure, is very cool. I like that a lot. And he just he just looks good. For a small figure, the detail that they have on him, um, the flow in this in his robes and his cape, very nice. They did a good job. His lightsaber as well. There's details there. Got the chrome. Um, got the uh, gripped handle. So they did well when it comes to the Dark Lord of the Sith himself. So good job on Darth Vader, guys. Now let's take a look at the TIE Advanced. Great details here. Not just what you'd expect on the outside of the wing, but on the inside as well. It comes um, disassembled, but they just pieces just snap right in. So you can see the inner workings there that they did a terrific job on. Um, so it's kind of cool, just like um, the old retro toy, if you want to have it crash and play with it in that manner. You can break the wings off nicely to give it that effect when you're having fun playing uh, with your Star Wars toys, because that's what they're made for. They're made to be played with. But if they sit on your shelf and make a nice, compact display piece, then hey, you've got something even more worthwhile. So I think that's what you're getting with this. Here's the top hatch that will open. And there's the inside cockpit in there and you can see just like his eyes just like his lenses the red tinted glass of the TIE fighter itself now he's supposed to be able to fit inside it looks small so let's see if we can get him in there as advertised mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His cape is getting in the way. So, check it out. Cape pops off. Things you learn in a review. So you pop that cape off, and he's gonna fit in there like a champ. Can't quite tell that he's in there, but he's in there. So that's great. So as far as playability goes, I think Hasbro hit the mark. Especially if you're a kid and this is the perfect size for your hands, then why wouldn't you want to have one of these? Why wouldn't you want to collect the whole line when they're all in stores right now? Mom, give me this one. Dad, give me that one. Get the whole collection. This one was only 20 bucks. And you get a cannon, you get a figure. The cannon you can place on the wings, you can place it underneath, under the belly. And you can fly this guy around and you can target all the X-Wings and Millennium Falcons and everything else that's in the line. And have a great time as a kid. And of course it's got the standalone cannon. Just like that. So that's cool. So we can do a test fire in a minute. Let me show you one more thing. And here's how your mission fleet Darth Vader scales against, of course, the Lego Darth Vader and the classic Kenner three and three quarter inch Darth Vader. So, there you go. You want a sense of how they correlate, how their size relates. Now, we all know the rule of two a master and an apprentice. So, let's see. Who's going to win this battle? We can only have one Darth Vader, right? All right. His hand is on the cannon. Fits nicely. So that's kind of a cool feature. And it's time for a test fire. Let me fire when ready. Ready. Aim. Fire. Nice. And the Lego goes down. Cool. And you guys know how I like putting comics in my display. So here we have Star Wars Darth Vader number 16 from Marvel, of course. And I think it all displays very nicely. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And remember, just like Darth Vader at the end of Return of the Jedi, you are the hero 
of your own story.